What's up, world? It's your boy Iconic. Back again with another video. Yes, sir. We are back in the Iconic Studios. Back with another review. Back with another low key heater. Yes, sir. You already know what's going on, man. You already know what time it is. Before we get started with this review and unboxing, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also that notification bell so you can stay in tune with the reviews, the on feats, the sneaker vlog, and the sneaker news, and everything else that comes with the channel, man. Thank y'all for watching, man. Let's get into it. Boom, we have a package directly from Depop, bruh. I told y'all, bruh, I've been finding all the little old school grills, all the stuff that ain't been releasing for a minute on like all these weird apps. Depop, um, Poshmark, you know, eBay, Macari, all those places are great places to look for stuff like this to get it for a nice still price, bruh. Because right now, all the OG stuff is either sold out, can be found, or is like five, six hundred dollars, bro. And we not paying no five, six hundred dollars for no OG sneakers, bro. We just, we just not doing it. So without further ado, let me go ahead and bust this joint open. I wasn't even expecting for this package to come, man. I've been bringing y'all back to back videos. And um, this was perfect, bro, because it saves me a lot of time with uh, creating content. And again, it came right on time. Looking forward to this package. There we go, put that to the side. This one didn't come with a box, but I am looking forward to opening this box and being very, very, very excited. Okay, so they shipping in a replaced box. Shout out to her for sh uh, shipping in a replaced box, bro. Shout out to her. Let's move this to the side because we don't need that box. Boom, we have it here. A box directly from Depop, and it is an Adidas box. What? Adidas box? I don't know about that, bro. Um, you see the box label right here? Crazy, man. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Go ahead and flip the lid. Ha <laughs> Yes, sir. Here they are. Boom. We have it here. The Nike Air Pippin. Yes. You see what's going on, man. Stop. Hold y'all, bro. We outside. If you've been outside, you know what's going on, bro. You see what's going on right here, bro. Look at that. You see what's going on, man. You see what's going on. You see what's going on. You see what's going on, bruh. Look at that. Look at that, bro. I told y'all, ain't nobody bringing this no more, man. Last time I was seeing this type of stuff was 2014, 2015, 20, 2010, 11, 12. Bro, it's 2021, bro. And nobody's talking about stuff like this anymore. But let me tell y'all, bro. I'm here to bring that heat to y'all, man. Here to bring those bangers. But this here is an actual line generated for Scotty Pippen. I think beforehand, Scotty Pippen wore um, the Uptempos, of course, which everybody thinks is his signature shoe, but it was just a shoe he modeled for Nike, which is crazy. I, I just recently found that out, and I think it was a um, the, a flight, the flight joints, uh, the air flights. I can't remember. I'm probably put up a picture somewhere, but this specific shoe right here, the Air Pippen, is des was designed directly for Scotty Pippen himself, man. And off rip, bro, I'm gonna tell you, I love everything about the sneaker. It's definitely dope. Um, and when I look at this sneaker again, I told y'all, it kind of gives me that that real creative feel Nike used to come with back in the day, bro. They used to come with the pressure back in the day, bro. Now it's like, it just seems like now they don't really bring anything creative. Um, most of these shoes to me too, you know, they may be weird. I feel like they kind of give me like a jazz feel, bro. I can't really. I can't really explain it, bro, but just like how people back in the day when jazz first dropped, they couldn't explain the noise, the sounds that people were making with jazz. That's how I feel they, how, how I feel they went and approached a lot of these sneakers back then, bro. Like I said, these, Tim Hardaway's, you know what I mean? Dion's, Barclays, Up Tempos. A lot of these shoes, bro, it's kind of giving me like, it's like you could tell that Nike was be definitely, you could just definitely tell that Nike was bringing the heat, bro. They was kind of bringing something different. But like I say, man, most people thought this sneaker right here was uh, Pippin, Scotty Pippin's uh, signature line. And it wasn't really his signature line. It was just a shoe that he uh, wore, a lot of up tempos and his time frame. But this shoe right here is his actual signature sneaker right here. They finally gave him his own line. So, Let's go ahead and do a quick review, man. Bottom, bottom right here. I believe this area was like more clear and then you got that white area right here. Of course, it looks used. I did buy them used off of Depop. Um, it does have a little clear area with a black swoosh. 
right in there. Um, and then, like we discussed last time with most of those shoes back in the day, it had this clear space that showed the air unit. Um, this one, I don't believe has a basketball in it. It just says air in it. You probably can't see into it because it's so old, but it does say air in the side of there. We get to the midsole area. Let me put these shoe strings back in. Man, these shoe strings are so long. Sheesh. Uh, let's get to the midsole. Midsole is, uh, air unit is red. I love that hit all the way around that area. Let's go ahead and do a 360 of that. Air unit is all red, love that. You get to a little bit of the upper of the midsole. It is all white, which I need to clean up. Definitely need to clean that joint up. It is all white right there. You do have your, uh, is this a jewel? Jewel swoosh, like that jewel red swoosh right there. Hopefully y'all can see that. Then the upper. Upper is, um, looks like new bug, bro. Definitely like a new bug, not really suede. It ain't no suede at all. It looks like definitely like all new bug. And um, the one of the dopest details on that upper part is this, these little like lines right here that you can see. These little lines that's kind of like jeweled out. So um, I, again, recently found this out when I was watching an interview with Scotty Pippen. He was saying that those lines are supposed to represent 33 for his jersey, his jersey number. And I thought that was pretty dope. That's why I say it gave me that jazz feel because you know, this is the type of stuff that was generated in jazz, bro. Making these like crazy designs and different things like that. On the back, you do have that logo also wrapped around that little jewel. I don't know if they want to call that horns, but I like that. Um, it has the two P's with the ball in the middle. Hopefully y'all can see that. Um, tongue is all mesh. You do have these black strings. Uh, they're very, very, very long. Let me loosen these up again. They got these joints choked up. And um, I paid a decent price. I think I paid like 140 for these joints. These were these weren't bad. These weren't bad. Um, no box, cause everywhere else, 300, 400. I'm not paying that much for that shoe, bro. Not saying I don't like it enough, but I'm not spending that. Um, right here, which I really love. Um, just yeah, I love this little area right here because it's that jewel dot area. It does have the two P's um, and then that basketball right up the middle. You remember yesterday on a, a previous video of the um, Air Total Max? Remember I was telling you it had those two P's? That's what it kind of similar. It looks something similar to that on those two P's. Those two P's, the P's were on the, the aglets of that air up tempo. So that was something that I was trying to tell y'all about Scotty Pippen wearing that line a lot that they quoted and stated that that specific shoe was supposed to be for Scotty Pippen. But again, it never really worked out like that. Um, then you got Pippen right across here. And um, biggest, another dope part is right here. You got that uh, Nike swoosh stitched with that red outlining. Very, 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 very fire shoe, y'all. This is history right here. Again, man, I think it's a very dope shoe. It definitely, um, again, it has that very jazz, jazzy feel to it, you feel what I'm saying? Like, no pun intended, but for me, like, again, this is what these 90 sneakers are really like. I did get a size 10 and a half. I wanna double check, 10 and a half. A little worried, cause I tried on that Total Max yesterday, bro, and that joint was, that joint was too small, bro. I'm still sad about that. So I'm gonna try this on right now. Thin sock. Okay, these are not bad. I can I can pull these off, especially with a little thin sock. It, it'll have to work. It'll have to work because I'm not. I haven't found a shoe in that size, in the 10 and a half or 11, that looks as good as this. And as you can see, like you probably can't see it on camera, but it's a lot of little little small stuff, bro. Nothing to say this shoe isn't worth keeping. And again, I think it was definitely a great pickup. Oh, I didn't show the insole. Dang, this shoe is really still in good condition, bro. This is like definitely eight, eight out of 10, like she said. She said it was eight out of 10. Um, pull this joint out real quick. This is the insole. This is how the insole look right here. It does have a Nike swoosh and red and then air right there. And again, man, for me, I like this shoe. Definitely one of those shoes you gotta have in the collection because it's basically playoff time. Just like how the, uh, you got the Jordan 12, the Jordan uh, Playoff 11. This is this is Scotty Pippen's playoff shoe right here. Uh, this is his championship shoe right here. And again, you can't leave out. You can say Jordan, but you can't leave out Scotty Pippen and Dennis Rodman and a lot of the other players because they played a, a phenomenal role in this joint. So don't ever forget, man. Scotty Pippen was that guy. Uh, he was that guy and if you go back and look at some of them highlights, they don't speak on him a lot, bro But he was like a silent assassin, bro. Definitely a silent assassin and really did his thing, you know um, I just enjoy his explosiveness 
and his way to his ability to move around and make plays. And I really be out in the eye, you know what I mean? Like he always to me was very soft spoken, made and just made plays, made stuff happen, bro. And if you look at his story too, bro, as far as just Pippen in general, his story is just crazy, bro. How he you know, you know, he went to the NBA, he made a lot of different plays due to his family and what was gonna be best for his family. But you know, for him, man, he had a great story, he had a great run, uh, ran with some great players. And again, man, we can't we can't put him to the side, man. We can't put him to the side. Again, like I said, it's just very dope. I wish I knew the details of what this was for right here. Um, I think that was a lot of different traction that they used back in the day, which they said was pretty dope. Um, Nightwing probably will be able to give y'all a little bit better answer of what this is for right here. But, um, you know, I don't know, but again, Y'all let me know, did I win, did I lose? Is this a shoe that you have in your collection or even thinking about getting? Big surprise, bro, is that the Air Pippin, Air Pippin, the Nike Penny One is dropping next year in 2022, bro. So I'm definitely geek. It's all about this, man. I know some people could care less about stuff like this, but again, bro, if you're looking at anything that's screaming 90s, you can't put away the, uh, the Air Up Tempos. You can't put away the Air Pippins. You can't put away the Nike Bacons, the Charles Barkleys. Anything of that nature, bro, you gotta you gotta bring those up, bro. You gotta bring those up. And this definitely is a shoe that should be in your collection, in my opinion, if you out there like that. You know, some people can, can care less about basketball shoes, but for me, if we talk about shoes that really mean something, stand for something, you gotta have these in the collection, bro. You gotta have these in the, you can't have, in my opinion, right? If you got these, you got these, you need to have these. You gotta have these. You know what I mean? If you if you got if you got this, if you got any of that type of stuff like that, bro, during during career, don't forget, bro. You gotta have this. And you for sure, for sure gotta have this, bro. There ain't no ain't no way you going to get this and don't have this. You gotta have this. This make me wanna have this. Or this make, you know, either way, definitely gotta have it. But yeah, man. That's it for the channel today, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the shoe, the Air Pippin. It was a, is it a nice cop? Do you like the shoe? Do you have the shoe in your collection? Do you want this shoe to re-release? I think the last time this release was 2015. So six years from, six years since the last release. And you know, you never know. Nike might bring it out, they might not. So I'm just thankful I have in my collection, man. And thankful y'all came to watch the video. Before I go, y'all, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also that notification bell so you can stay in tune with the reviews, the on feast, the sneaker vlog, and the sneaker news, and everything else that comes with the channel. Thank y'all for watching, man. Future belongs to those who prepare today. Till tomorrow, y'all. Peace.